everybody. My name is Stacy, and I thought I'd come on here and do a little welcome <laughs> to this YouTube thing. I am sometimes known as the Redhead. My Instagram handle is Stacy at the Redhead. This is my dog Sage, Lady Sage. What do you say? Can you say hi? Say hi. What do you say? <coughs> Good girl. <laughs> She's my Cincy dog, my little sidekick, my companion, uh, my therapy dog. And I also have another older dog, another golden retriever, Scout, that he is 12. He's not like his picture's taken. She loves it. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to come on and let you guys know what my vision kind of might is for this. And a little bit about myself. This is not going to just be about Sensi. I would kind of like to make it basically the whole the whole thing about you know kind of where I am in my life and my journey and and how I deal with it so with that being said I'll tell you a little bit about myself really quick I was diagnosed in 2005 with degenerative disc disease and over the years I've had several surgeries both in my shoulders my back and it is one shoulder was botched it didn't take well at all and it's moved to my knees and I have arthritis and was severely depressed for many years, anxiety, um, chronic fatigue. I rarely sleep, um, mostly because of the pain, but I think I do pretty well. And a couple years ago, I was in a really deep depression. Um, let me back that up for a second. Doctors, I couldn't work anymore about five years ago, 2012. And that was really hard for me because I was always very independent. I loved working. I worked all of my life sometimes working a couple jobs to support my kids and so that was really tough for me and it threw me into a really deep depression and I just kind of went to a dark place I just didn't care anymore put on a bunch of weight and about two years ago or it was about two years ago I decided you know what it's time to I need to do something because the more you just sit around and go into that dark hole the worse it is for you atrophy can set in you're not taking care of your body so you know your pain is exacerbated and the depression is heightened and you know it can affect so many things so I just kind of decided you know what I need to change some things here and it's up to me I'm the only one that can do it <laughs> so I lost 40 pounds I decided I needed to figure out something to do to occupy my time my husband got me sage which was awesome and I had been a Scentsy customer for like seven years and the opportunity was put in front of me to run my own business and I thought you know I'm not a salesperson I don't want to do that I don't like um, I'm just this is not my thing and I thought you know what why not what I mean what's the worst that can happen it's just I'm not gonna like it and I have ended up loving it absolutely loving it I think it is cliche and weird as this may sound it actually saved me it gave me a purpose to want to get up each day and do something with myself with my dog with my life share something that I love so much with other people talk a little bit about you know my struggles um, so yeah so that's kind of where I'm at now it's been two years since I've done it and uh, here I am um, not every day is great I some days I'm on here and I haven't slept for a couple days, but I still do my thing. I do the best I can. I don't have a script. I wing it. I repeat myself a lot. I'm an absolute goofball most of the time. I just, I like to rhyme. I sometimes talk with a southern accent. It just sometimes rolls off. I can't help it. And I just like to have fun because life is too freaking short. And that's another thing I'll say freaking a lot because I I kind of have a potty mouth, but I don't do it on camera. I try to be super careful about that. So freaking comes out a lot. <laughs> and anyway, I just wing it. And that's kind of how, how I roll. Me and Sage, she's always with me. Most of the time we're at home. I'm usually almost always in my comfies. And, and we do our thing. So I'm kind of hoping that this channel will be, you know, about my chronic illness, how I get by, you know, some things that I can do that 
kind of make my day a little bit easier or not. Some days I have days where I just, you know, I just physically can't. So, um, just try to live happy. That's my goal. Life is too short. I've got grandkids and I want to be around for them. And I'm not always the best at taking good care of myself, but I try to do it. I, when I fall, I get myself right freaking back up and get right back on the health train if I can. Because when I feel my best, although my pain is still there, mentally, if you can feel better mentally, it makes such a huge difference. It it does for me anyway and that's half the battle if you ask me so i just thought this would be kind of about that you know my sensi my health my chronic illness my dogs we sometimes have a lot of freaking goofball mishaps and it's just us and i wouldn't have it any other way because it keeps it interesting and i like interesting and i like fun and i like quirky and and I like honesty and respect and no drama and no negativity because I just don't have time for that in my life, you know? That's, it's just so draining and I don't have the energy, honestly. <laughs> I just don't. So if these are things that might interest you or if you guys have some other ideas, help me out because like I said, I'm just figuring this YouTube thing out. I don't know how to do my links yet I don't have any fancy flashes and breaks in it cuz I'm just a simple gal honestly um, I'll figure some of that out as I go but like I said I'm just kind of just figuring this all out and when to get it started I've got a lot of my sensi videos is all that's up right now some from a year ago that I forgot really I had done uh, so I didn't even realize you could have a YouTube channel anyways. I didn't know it was just like anybody could have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so, why not? I have a Facebook business page, but I just, you know, nobody seems to be on Facebook that much anymore. Especially in my age group, because I just turned 50. 50! <laughs> my half a century! And so, it's kind of like hard to get people to interact over there. So I thought, well, I'm going to try this. Plus, I have been wanting to do something... Um, to bring more awareness. There's such a stigma. I'll say this lastly. I don't want to run this too long, but there's such a stigma with chronic illness that if you're sick, oh, there's a squirrel. If you're sick, you're supposed to, uh, you know, be miserable and and laid up and sad and and that's bullcrap if you ask me. You know, I was there and it does nothing but make you worse. You can live a full, happy, productive life with chronic illness you got to want it and you got to do what works for you not everybody can do the things that others do you know you got to do in the time frame that you can if you can only do something for an hour a day well then utilize that hour you know two hour whatever it may be I just go step by step day by day minute by minute a lot of the times so so anyway that's a little bit about me I'll probably tell you guys more as we get along here if this if this works. So, if you guys would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, please. If you guys have any tips for me or things that you might want to know or hear about, let me know. I I welcome it, and I'll do my best. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace and love. Be kind, and I will talk to you guys in the next time. Thank you.